the night season is very crucial i have said over and over again those who sleep all night will certainly fail all day every day is framed in the night what you do with your night determines the outcome of the day and it's better for you to miss a six hour sleep and retain your destiny forever every great man i've met do something with their night season they are not sleepers when you sleep life sleeps off those who stay awake are the one in command life is not from fear life is warfare those who give life gentleman's approach end as losers jesus declared that right from the time of john the baptist the kingdom of god suffers violence and only the violent take it so if you are not violent you can't take if the bible says the violent take it that means the gentle lose it violence is the key for triumphant living in this kingdom your destiny is not just glorious it is also precious don't make a mistake that when god has called you then you are free from satanic oppositions whosoever god calls for glory satan marks for destruction now listen to this in the battle of life god never blows the whistle against you until you own up and say it is finished that god had spoken of your glorious destiny does not exempt you from satanic incursions and oppositions sometimes you feel that didn't god speak to me that this is what would become of me so you must come to that place of desperation where a change but just must occur you don't wait for your destiny to be delivered you wrestle your destiny out of the hands of the enemy there is no man that is free from this battle there is no one that is not been attacked by the enemy something has to be done to turn your captivity around the only way to stop the struggle is to wrestle every oppression has an end you will be making a mistake to think that this ministry arrived where it is today without a wrestle when our church first moved to Ota in Ogo state the witches were there causing all manner of havoc causing accident attacking people all kinds prayer with fasting only god knows the volume of oil that cannot land at sun only god knows the volume of the blood of sprinkling in the middle of the night all those roads that people walk around now free of charge and enjoying themselves and enjoying the anointing of the holy spirit they didn't come anyhow there is no free lunch in life you have watched enough it is now time for you to wrestle this is the word of the lord coming your way that your story is going to assume a new turn. When somebody tells you we are praying for you, it's just the expression of you. Nobody can pray for you like yourself. Every man shall bear his own body. And Jacob was left alone. Let the prayer others are praying for you be supportive. Let your own prayer be the anchor of your destiny. Isaac, the father of Jacob, had blessed him. He had prayed for him to be blessed. Yet the enemy stood on the way. No matter who is helping you, your own personal input is always the major factor for your triumph. Time alone is time of destiny. No matter how bad your situation is, there is a seed of honor inside you. Bishop Oedeko in his testimony said, while he was in secondary school, young fellow in the faith, one night he coughed and coughed and coughed to a point that all the roommates shifted their beds away from him. He woke up to find himself alone in the, in, the, in, the, in the corner. Everybody has shifted their bed. Wow! Tuberculosis. Who wants to catch it? He said he woke up and went outside of the hostel and stood before God and said, Lord, if you are the one who did all the miracles in the gospel and they did not lie against you, prove yourself now. That was how tuberculosis died. You need to come to a point of acceptance of responsibility. No matter what's happening around you now, there is a seed of greatness inside you. People may pomel your body, but they cannot kill the seed. They took the colorful cloth of Joseph, but they couldn't take destiny from him. 
there is something inside you crying for expression be spiritual in your approach